cooking pans, pizza boxes, cleaning products are products we use every single day. They all have the same characteristic that they repel water, grease and dirt. Over all these years, PFAS has accumulated in the environment because it's almost non-biodegradable and very little is known about it. We at Envisom have always been committed to detecting those emerging contaminants, to investigate them and, above all, to find the appropriate technique to tackle them. At Osterweil in Antwerp, a lot of soil is polluted with PFAS and has to be removed for the infrastructure works. We transport and bring the soil to our valorization centers, where we treat the soils in the soil washing plants. In these plants, we separate the soils into several fractions. We wash the coarse fractions intensively, and the water is treated separately and reused in the washing process. Finally, we recycle the materials, and the washed sand and aggregates are put back onto the market as uh, secondary raw materials for new local projects. In addition to our valorization centers, we also provide an on-site remediation techniques where we treat contaminated soils on location. This eliminates transport, resulting in drastic reduction in CO2 emissions and less heavy mobility on-site. In Velvode at the cut site, we already applied an on-site remediation with the biological technique of biopiles, where bacteria break down the contamination into harmless parts, a nature-based solution with a 100% result. Not only the soil of the Oysterweil project is contaminated, also the groundwater contains PFAS. And here too, we can help. Envisom designed and built several mobile water treatment plants to remediate the groundwater on site. The water treatment plants make use of activated carbon, where we adsorb the PFAS out of the water. You may be familiar with this technique from the well-known Brita water filter jugs. At Envisom, we continue to invest, innovate, and commit to in-house R&D to provide solutions for the problem owners of the future.